2012. Winner of the Heisman Memorial Trophy is Johnny Manziel. That had to be the longest 10 seconds of my life. <laughs> Johnny Manziel is here with us right now. Tell us what that moment was like. Very suspenseful. Uh, they did a whole job with the production of it to really create as much suspense as possible, and it was so nerve-wracking. Well, your face, you looked like, uh, like you were almost emotional about it. Definitely. It was definitely an emotional time for, for me, and then seeing my dad, um, as emotional as he got, that was something that was so special for me to, to see him and how proud he was. It's, it, it is remarkable. You know, first freshman to ever do this. And the statistics are mind-blowing in and of themselves, of course, what you've been able to accomplish on the field. But last year, you, you, you lost a coach. You didn't have a coach. You didn't even take a down. You weren't even playing. How do you go from that to this? Well, I think whenever you redshirt in college, uh, that's, that's a year for you to get better and really adjust to everything. So that year was big for me, and, and the coaching staff that was there did a great job of, of preparing me uh, to play the next year whenever I did get a chance. So that year is a big adjustment year. As so, I understand it, you didn't necessarily want to be a football player. You wanted to be a professional baseball player. Growing up, I always wanted to be a baseball guy. I always watched baseball World Series. Derek Jeter and the Yankees, uh, that was a big team for me. Um, so growing up, my dream was always to play professional baseball. And then in high school, whenever football kind of came uh, front stage, I kind of ran with it. Oh, you've got to stop winning these 20, awards. 20. 20. Just turned 20 oh. last week, oh. this week. You're never going to get to baseball <laughs> if you keep winning football awards. <laughs> I like guess you're right, you're right. Focus, Can Johnny, you focus. Back? Get my priorities straight. Do you get straight. to keep one of these? Do you get, this is the Heisman Trophy. Is this the one? Do you get to take this home with you? I'm not sure. There's been Heisman Trophies all over the place this week. But I do, <laughs> I do get to keep one, and I know one goes to the school. Can I it touch it? Heavy. You can touch it. It is, it is incredible. It is heavy. heavy. Um, you have a yellow wristband on, which you refuse to take off in any sort of photo opportunities. You wear it all the time. And maybe we can get a close-up of it here on one of the cameras. What is so special about this yellow wristband that you wear? Uh, the story behind it is something that's really special. There's a, there's a four- or five-year-old kid um, in Houston, Texas, who's diagnosed with a, a terminal type of cancer. And he's been, he's been fighting it for, uh, for quite some time now. Um, and just what he goes through right now, he's going through a 30 to 45 days of being in the hospital straight, doing a stem cell transplant. So being that young and, and his mom and how he looks up to me on the football field and, and how I look up to him for what he does, it's been, uh, it's been something that's touched my heart for sure. Good for you. That is so nice. Um, Johnny, do you have a girlfriend? I do. You do? Is she with you? She is. Okay. Is she in the studio? No, sir. No, Can sir. we embarrass her? No. Uh, not here. Uh, what was her response last night? She was in the back, uh, kind of away. Um, we couldn't get all tickets to sit, sit everybody up front, but everybody was just ecstatic. I had about 30 to 45 family members here, uh, which was That's incredible so cool. to see. Where do you go next year? I mean, this is your freshman year. So now the pressure's got to be on you, to try to eclipse some of those records. I mean, can you have a repeat performance of what you managed to pull off this year, next year? I think the big thing going into the spring is just to make sure that as a team, uh, we want to win a national championship, and that's the main goal and what we want to do for Texas A&M. It's not necessarily me getting a chance to come back here if that was the case, but uh, we want to be playing for a national championship next year. What's the name of your, your town you're from? Kerrville, Texas. 20,000 people. 20,000 people. What do you think is going on in that town this morning? <laughs> it's probably uh, an all-night party, so I don't know. Well, you have a parade and stuff like that, I suppose. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, but but weren't you, rec you wanted when you were growing up to play for the Texas Longhorns, didn't you? Growing up as a kid, that was, uh, that was a school that I wanted to go to and didn't really, didn't really play out that way. They so. didn't recruit you? Uh, they did a little bit, but I never got offered a scholarship. And, and what are they thinking today? Uh, and, Johnny, we understand that your coach do has a rule where he doesn't let freshmen talk to the media. So this has been sort of baptism by fire for you. What's this onslaught been like? I enjoy it. Uh, I, I like getting a chance to come and talk to you all in, in the media and let people know a little bit about who I am. So yeah. during the season, it was good to just be able to focus on the season and, and worry about football. Have but been that was far. I've been one time before a couple years ago. Yeah. Got a chance to, to go to a Knicks game, go to a Giants game and, and see some cool stuff. That's great. Well, hopefully you'll see a lot of cool stuff while you're here this time. Yes, Someone tells me if you walk down the street carrying that, people... <laughs> you'll have some invitations. I might get mugged. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Welcome to New York City, Johnny. Uh, congratulations. An incredible honor. There he is, folks. Thank Johnny so Manziel, much. Heisman Trophy winner. Your Heisman Trophy winner. Pleasure nice to talking you. to you. Pleasure to talk to you all as well. All right. Meanwhile, let's